Solve this Diophantin equation. M root 3, plus N, equals K root 7, where, M N and K are integers. The equations contains root 3 and root 7. Before solving this equation, we will prove that, root 3 and root 7, are irrational numbers. Let's assume that, root 3 is rational. Then, there exist positive integers, A and B, and the greatest common divisor of A and B, is 1, such that, root 3 equals A over B. Square both sides of the equation, we have, 3 equals A squared, over B squared. Rearrange the equation, we have, A squared equals 3B squared. This implies that, 3 divides A squared. Euclid's lemma states that, if a prime divides a product, then, it divides at least one of the factors. By Euclid's lemma, 3 must divide A. Then we let, A equal 3C, where, C is a positive integer. Substitute A equals 3C into equation 1, we have, 3 squared, C squared, equals 3B squared. Simplify and rearrange the equation, we have, B squared equals 3C squared. This implies that, 3 divides B squared. Again, by Euclid's lemma, we know that, 3 must divide B. 3 divide A, and 3 divide B, contradict the assumption that A and B are co-prime. Hence, root 3 is irrational. Similarly, we can prove that, root 7 is irrational. Next, we look at the equation, m root 3, plus n, equals k root 7. Square both sides of the equation, we have, 3m squared, plus n squared, plus 2mn root 3, equals 7k squared. Rearrange the equation, we have, 2mn root 3, equals 7k squared, minus 3m squared, minus n squared. If mn does not equal 0, then root 3 can be written as, 7k squared, minus 3m squared, minus n squared, over 2mn. As mn and k are integers, so this implies that, root 3 is rational. This is a contradiction. So, mn must equal 0. Which means that, either m or n must equal 0. If m equals 0, then, from equation 4, we know that, n equals k root 7. If k does not equal 0, then, root 7 can be written as, n over k. As n and k are integers, so this implies that, root 7 is rational. This is a contradiction. So, k must equal 0. Then, from equation 4, we know that, n equals 0. Hence, m n k equals 0 0 0, is a solution of the original equation. If n equals 0, then, from equation 4, we have, m root 3, equals k root 7. If k does not equal 0, then, rearrange the equation, we have, root 7 over root 3, equals m over k. Multiply the numerator and the denominator of the left-hand side of the equation, by root 3, we have, root 21 over 3, equals m over k. So, root 21, equals 3m over k. As m and k are integers, so this implies that, root 21 is rational. Then, there exist positive integers a and b, and the greatest common divisor of a and b, is 1, such that, root 21, equals a over b. Square both sides of the equation, we have, 21 equals a squared, over b squared. Rearrange the equation, we have, a squared equals 21b squared. 21 equals 3 times 7. So, we have, a squared equals, 3 times 7b squared. This implies that, either 3 divides a squared, or 7 divide a squared. By Euclid's lemma, 3 divides a, or 7 divide a. Then, we have, 3 divides b, or 7 divide b. This is a contradiction, as a and b are ka prime. So, k must equal 0. Then, from equation 4, we know that, m equals 0. Hence, mnk equals 0, 0, 0, is the only solution of the original equation.